What's up sports fans? This is the Lucas Ross Sports Channel. We continue here with my 2024 predictions for the upcoming 2024 college football season. The Wake Forest Demon Dinkins are up next. Wake Forest coming off a pretty disappointing year last year in 2023, going just 4-8 and eight overall, so not even coming close to making it into a bowl game last year. And usually, this is one of the more consistent teams in the ACC. Uh, there is, like, there's usually like three really consistent teams. One of them is Pittsburgh, and then, of course, one of them is NC State. And then you have Wake Forest. They're pretty much one of the more consistent teams as well in the ACC. Usually, they're right around six, seven, eight wins, somewhere in that range, but not last year. It was a disappointing year for them at four and eight. But you look at this team, though, for 2024, I'm not really that high on this team. I don't really think they're going to be like a dark horse contender in the conference this year based off of what happened and everything, but I think they have like a good roster still. You look at the offense, we know they're going to be really explosive on that side of the football. Uh, I believe they got their starting quarterback returning from last year, so the offense should be pretty good. The defense, though, is what I'm concerned with. The defense hasn't been really good for the Demon Dinkins over the years, so I think the defense will struggle a little bit. But let's go ahead and get to the schedule now here for 2024. This is the schedule here for Wake Forest. Again, they were 4-8 and eight last year in 2023. So let's go game by game now and give you a record prediction here for the Demon Dinkins for 2024 and they start things off on a Thursday night they'll play North Carolina A&T an FCS team should be a pretty easy win here for Wake Forest they absolutely should dominate this game and probably score like over 40 points in this game so I got Wake Forest starting off 1-0 and uh, then they'll open up conference play here next week rather early against Virginia this will be a home game here for the Demon Dinkins this game will be on September 7th uh, a Virginia team with a lot of experience coming back and also a program that seems like it's heading in the right direction. I think Virginia is going to be a lot better this year. I think they're going to be definitely more competitive against like their teams in the ACC and everything. Uh, Wake Forest, though, playing at home in this one. Uh, I think it could be a game where it's going to be a shootout. You know, Virginia might try to run the football in this game. But you look at Wake Forest's schedule. They play Ole Miss the next week, so maybe they're overlooking Virginia and probably focusing on Ole Miss the next week. Uh, that really could bode well again, you know, for you know Virginia and everything, and this could be a loss here for Wake Forest. But but I think this is a very tough game to call. I think both of these teams are pretty even. Experience-wise, Virginia definitely the more experienced team. I'm actually going to go with the Demon Dinkins here just because they're playing at home. It's hard to go against Wake Forest when they're playing at, at home against like not one of the top teams in the ACC. So I got Wake Forest starting out 2-0, and and then there's that big game at home against Ole Miss here on September the 14th. Uh, this will be a very tough offense to stop here for the Wake Forest uh, defense and everything. Ole Miss is going to have a really good offensive team. Uh, Jackson Dart, of course, back at quarterback. They got in some transfers to help them out. I think it will be a close game in the first half, like I mentioned in that Ole Miss video a long time ago back in the month of May. I think, you know, Ole Miss starts off slow, but then second half, the Rebels' defense starts to pick it up, and I think Ole Miss will try to, you know, really score a lot of points in this game. I think Wake Forest, the strategy for them is going to try to run the football a little bit more and maybe slow the game down a little bit, but it could be a shootout, so you never know, but I'm going to go with Ole Miss here to give Wake Forest their first loss of the season. So that puts Wake Forest's record now at 2-1. and one. Then they get a bye week here. You know, it's not a really good spot for a bye week. You play Louisiana. I think they take care of business in that game and get a bounce back win after the loss to Ole Miss a couple weeks ago. And that'll put their record now at 3-1. and one. And then they get to the month of October. They'll play NC State here on the road on October 5th. This will be the first road game here of the season for the Demon Dinkins. Uh, these are two very consistent teams when it comes to the ACC almost every single year. Uh, both of these teams are going to try to get around like six, seven, eight wins somewhere in that range. And one of them could be like a dark horse contender. So I think this is a pretty even matchup. So with that being said, home foot advantage might be the difference. I'm going to go with the Wolfpack here to get the win. I think it's a close one, but I'm actually going to go with NC State. I think NC State tries to run the football here in this one and slow that Wake Forest offense down. So I got Wake Forest losing that game. That will put their record now at 3-2. and two. Next they play Clemson here at home on October 12th. 
Uh, Clemson is going to be a very talented team this year. I think Wake Forest might have a chance to make this game a little bit competitive, but I don't think it really will be enough. I think it's kind of like similar to the Ole Miss game. It's close in the first half, but second half, the Tigers will pull away in this one. So I think Clemson wins this one. I think they're the much better team here as well. So I got Wake Forest losing that game. But then they take care of business here on the road at UConn here on October 19th. So that'll put their record now here at 4-3. and and After that, they'll play Stanford here on the road on October 26th. So they got back-to-back -back road games there with UConn and Stanford in the non-conference. And then they got a conference game here the next week. So they have to go out west here to play this game against Stanford. Stanford is a team that I'm not really that high on this year. Again, they have a second-year head coach and everything. I, I think Wake Forest is a much more better team than Stanford is. But again, going out west, I think that's going to really affect Wake Forest's trip and everything. So this is a game where I think Wake Forest kind of struggles to score a lot of points in. I think Stanford's going to try to run the football in this game and slow that Wake Forest, uh, you know, offense down a little bit as well. And also that passing attack is going to, you know, definitely be effective as well. I think Stanford's defense really comes out fired up. I think Stanford actually pulls off the upset here. I don't, I don't really think it would be an upset. I just think, you know, maybe Stanford is definitely not a more better team than Wake Forest. Wake Forest might be the better team and definitely the more well-coached team. So we'll say that's an upset there. But again, with all the travel thing, I think Wake Forest is going to really struggle in this game, having to travel out west and everything. Uh, that's going to be a long ways to go. So I got Stanford getting the win there. And then after that, they get their second bye week here before playing California at home here on November 8th. Uh, this will be on a Friday night. So they get a little time to prepare after that trip to Stanford uh, before playing California out of the west and everything. I think this has a has a chance to be a really competitive game, but you know Wake Forest. I think they'll bounce back after the loss to Stanford from a couple of weeks ago. I think the bye week also helps them out, and plus this game's in the month of November. Wake Forest will be better as a team by this time, so I think Wake Forest bounces back here with a win over California. It's close, but I got Wake Forest getting the win here just because of home field advantage, and that puts Wake Forest's record now at five and four. Next game they'll be on the road here at North Carolina on November sixteenth. Uh, very tough place to play. North Carolina is going to be a pretty good team this year. Uh, you know, this probably is a game that probably can go either way. It could be a shootout here. you got two great offensive teams going at it. Who has the better defense, though? I think that's North Carolina. I think the Tar Heels are definitely the better defense, and I think that's going to make the difference here in this one, and also home fit advantage will be the difference as well. I think North Carolina gets the win, so I got Wake Forest now dropping to 5-5, five and five. and then after that, it is a road game against Miami here on November 23rd. I don't really think Wake Forest has a big chance to pull off a huge upset here in this one. I think Miami is going to be a really good team this year. Wake Forest will try to, you know, score a lot of points and try to, you know, wear down that Miami defense. But I think Miami is going to run the football in this game and wear down that Wake Forest, uh, you know, defense and everything. And that's going to keep the Wake Forest offense for off the field for as long as possible. So with that being said, Miami is the better team here. They take care of business. So I got Wake Forest losing back-to-back -back road games there with North Carolina and Miami. Those are very tough back-to-back -back road games there in the month of November. And then the final game of the season will be at home against Duke here on November 30th. Um, I already done my Duke prediction video from last week, and I did choose, of course, Wake Forest to win this game. I think it will be a very competitive game. I think Duke will try to, you know, run the football as well in this game. I think Wake Forest playing at home, uh, that's going to be the difference here. So I think Wake Forest gets the win. So I got Wake Forest finishing 6-6 six and six here for 2024. Again, I'm not really that high on this team, but I do expect them to be right around 6-7-8 wins somewhere in that range. Uh, this is a little bit of a tough schedule. You got Ole Miss here in the non-conference. Uh, that'll be their toughest game here on this schedule in the non-conference. And then I think their toughest games in the ACC will be against Clemson, North Carolina, and Miami. I think Stanford is a very winnable game, so maybe this team goes seven and five. But six and six is what I'm going with here for Wake Forest. Is six and six here for 2024? That'll be enough to make them into a bowl game. So that is my prediction here for Wake Forest. Give me your thoughts and your predictions down in the comments below on this Wake Forest team. What do you think their record will be for 2024? Thanks for watching this video and stay tuned here for more sports content videos on my Lucas Ross Sports Channel.